It's like if life was oatmeal and you didn't have sugar or milk or water or a microwave <laughs> for your oatmeal in a normal life, and it's like you get all those things from being an art major, I suppose. So art major is like sugar and milk and a microwave. <laughs> and water. And water. I mean, it depends how you make your oatmeal, but... I eat it dry. That's disgusting. <laughs> I love being able to express myself, like even though there are lots of boundaries in the pot projects, you can always find your way out of them and still follow it at the same time, and I really like that challenge. My favorite thing about being an art major is being able to express myself, as lame as that sounds, but for example, being in my art theory class last quarter, I was really able to come up with my own ideas and actually execute them and see them happen. And it was actually an amazing thing because I never really felt like I was that true artist sort of person until that class. You have a chance to actually voice your own passions. And it's like, it's not a person or a drug, which is great. So it's like, it's more like it comes from yourself. <laughs> Everyone's themselves. It's pretty great. Like other majors, you just kind of hide behind your textbook and like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like classes where you can like read and just sit in a lecture and stuff, but the hands-on part of it is my favorite and you can actually like share your ideas with people and communicate versus sitting in a silent classroom and just listening and absorbing. In this case, we absorb and create at the same time. So I love that. <laughs> I feel like I always need to be drawing in order to be sane, so I mean, I feel like I can't really live my life without being an art major. I like art. Nothing else makes sense. So far, the best thing that's happened since I've been here is meeting my photo family, which consists of nine kids who I love dearly, and it's great because the small group really allows you to collaborate when coming up with ideas for art projects or whatever project you're working on. Um, so because we're an art major, we get to do a lot of um, work in the studio, which is really cool because we're not just learning the theory of it, we're learning like w how to actually like set up the lighting and to like roll chords and to um, figure out what looks best in a shot. And I think that if I was like a different, ma like an English major, I'm not really getting the hands-on learning that I am getting here as an art major because I mean, it is a technical program, and I think that once I leave, I will be really prepared and really knowledgeable about running my own business um, as a photographer, which I think is really cool. Um, also, just doing the shoots is really fun. I mean, it's what I'm going to be doing in my career, and so doing it now is like what I'm doing right now is like experience that I'm getting so that I can apply it to my job in the future. And I don't think that you get the sort of same really specified training as if you're like a chemistry major or like an English major. It's not very job specific, whereas here I know that I'll have the skills that I need. A fellow photo major did a shoot with a ton of black paint and he put his subject right in it and it was a lot of fun to actually just get in that paint and get dirty and just have fun with it and the shots actually came out really great. Art theory was by far my favorite. Paintings right behind it. Um, 2D and color theory were really important, pain in the rear end, but <laughs> you have to learn that stuff to get it. I feel like boredom is the best inspiration, that or having no time to do work. Because, I don't know, I feel like I always come up with ideas when I'm either bored or have no time to do them. But, I don't know, I just feel like most inspiration just kind of comes randomly. Um, as, as far as like subject matter, I feel like, um, I don't know, just day-to-day -day stuff. Just like taking a normal thing and making it crazy. Like I think that's the biggest issue for any art major is the, do I suck? Uh, waking up is pretty painful because most art majors do their homework at night. We're all pretty nocturnal, especially like weather projects do very soon. <laughs> And then, sometimes you eat food <laughs> if you have time. Being an art major isn't just fun and games. It involves a lot more than just doing what you want most of the time. 
It's a lot of like learning technical skill, especially for photography. It's a lot of like lighting and Photoshop and how do I make this have the perfect reflection? And how do I light this person's face? And lots of other things like that. Okay, listen. So, being an art major is great. And it's awesome because you get to do what you love all the time. And honestly, if art's what you want to do, you should go for it. But it's going to be stressful and it's going to kick your butt sometimes. But it's totally worth it because at the end of the day, you get to just, I don't know, you, you know that you've done something that you want to be doing and you're not wasting your time. I feel like if you're not working towards something you want to do in your life, like work-wise, like... I know that I wouldn't want to work on anything other than art in a workplace. Like, basically just work towards what you love because you're going to be happier that way, even if it's difficult or not the easiest way to do. Don't procrastinate. Yeah, it's a lot of commitment and it's not just fun. That there are nights when you're like, why did I do this? <laughs> but then after you turn in the project and you feel really good about it, it doesn't matter about the night before when you were struggling. It's done and it's awesome. Um, be open to new things and open to new people and just put your utmost effort into everything you do. Because we do that. <laughs> not really. <laughs>